Hey guys, my name is Sid. Welcome to another vlog. So in this packet is my wife's new phone. This is the iPhone 12 Pro in blue color. So funny thing is, I didn't really want to buy an iPhone 12 this year. I was waiting for the iPhone 12 Pro Max. Even if you saw in my previous video, I was a lot more excited about the 12 Pro Max than the iPhone 12 Pro. But uh, unfortunately, my wife's iPhone 10 stopped working pretty much the day the iPhone 12 came out. The cost for repairing this thing was almost a thousand dirhams or about $250. So I decided might as well get the new iPhone. And uh, we were thinking about getting the iPhone 12, but I generally tend to buy phones on the installment scheme from the carriers. So that's why we decided to go with the iPhone 12 Pro. So uh, anyway, uh, let's unbox this thing. The box for this thing is incredibly small compared to the previous iPhone 11 box. Feels substantially smaller. Packaging wise, I mean, it's got Apple's usual high quality standards and damn, this color looks nice, man. The iPhone 11 in blue looks really good. So let's see how it looks compared to the iPhone 11 Pro Max. I mean, the camera array and everything looks pretty much the same. So material wise, first I would say that the new iPhone 12 Pro feels slightly more grippy than the old iPhone 11 Pro Max. The camera setup looks almost identical, except now you have the LiDAR sensor on it. And the flat sides definitely feel nice like they feel it's much easier to hold the phone and the borders of the phone are like flush there's a very slight lip where you can feel the glass and the side but it's not much at all and i must say the design of it is beautiful it looks amazing especially in this blue color it looks super nice it's quite dense as well like it's it feels solid I'm really liking the design of it. Let's turn it on real quick. The buttons feel different as well compared to the old one. It's a bit more clicky. Before we get to setting up the phone, let's quickly look at what you get in the box. It's just a USB-C cable and some booklets from Apple. No more charge in the box. There's no more headphones as well, which kind of sucks. I mean, it doesn't really make a difference to us because we use AirPods. We have plenty of chargers at home from previous um, phones and stuff that we've used. But uh, let's quickly look at the size difference between the iPhone 10 and the iPhone 11 Pro Max. So it looks like it's just a slight bit taller. Width-wise, it's it's slightly the slightest bit wider i don't know if you guys can see that but there's i can feel the edge over here you can see that's the height difference between the iphone 10 and the iphone 12 pro yeah widthwise you can see it's the slightest bit bigger and that's mostly due to the slightly larger screen on this phone now is it a noticeably bigger screen I've used a ton of the iPhone 10. I had that. This was my previous phone. Poor Mamta, she's never had a new phone. She always gets my hand-me-down. So this time we decided to get her the brand new phone instead of for me. I'm super happy with my iPhone 11 Pro Max, by the way. Um, I love it. Uh, I really want to see what the iPhone 12 Pro Max has in terms of camera. But honestly, I don't really need an upgrade this year, but Mamta needs an upgrade. She always gets my hand-me-down phones. This iPhone 10 with stop working is also my hand-me-down. So when I bought the iPhone 11 Pro Max, I gave her this phone. So I think she deserves to have a, a nice new phone for a change. I do like the flat side design of the new iPhone 11 Pro Max compared to the iPhone 10. This does feel better. I don't think bezel wise, now this phone's not coming on, so I can't really compare the bezel size of these two phones, but I think it's about the same. It looks about the same. Uh, let's check compared to the iPhone 11 Pro Max. Um, the bezel does feel a little bit smaller, mostly because of the rounding of the edges. I don't know whether it's an illusion that the bezel is smaller or it is actually smaller, but uh, it feels, it looks like it's the slightest bit smaller. 
Yeah, I think it's a little bit smaller than the previous phone. So let's do a quick comparison between the iPhone 11 Pro Max and the iPhone 12 Pro. Let's check out screen brightness. Almost identical, I would say. Maybe the iPhone 12 looks slightly brighter. I'm gonna pull this back down just so that my camera can, uh, you know, adjust for it. Okay. Now let's check out, I'm gonna put Wi-Fi off on both these devices and we're gonna do a speed test. Okay, right now I'm getting about 30 down. So 30 down on the iPhone 12 Pro and about 10 down on the iPhone 11 Pro Max. So definitely faster here. But I would say that yesterday while we were on the road, I was getting 500 down on this. So maybe it's the coverage in my house, but this is definitely much faster on 5G and Dubai's 5G coverage is pretty good actually compared to other places like the US and things. So um, I was getting 500 down on this phone on 5g now size wise i think it's a really good size because it's slightly bigger than the iphone 10 or 11 pro but it doesn't feel much bigger in the hand so that's a great thing you get a little bit more screen real estate things do look a little bit bigger on this i was looking at it back and forth uh, on my friend's iphone 11 pro and uh, this seems to be the perfect size actually unless you really want the bigger size of the 11 pro max so now the 12 pro max coming out soon uh, and the 12 pro max is going to have the better camera but uh, i would say this is a really nice size actually it feels great in the hand and uh, the screen as well like watching stuff on it is awesome sound quality on the phone sounds pretty good as well the iphone 11 pro sounds slightly louder maybe but almost the same like uh, you're getting almost the same speakers maybe this has a little bit more space to give you a little bit more volume but other than that they're almost identical in terms of speaker quality now i'm curious about the magnets let's go see whether we can stick this to the fridge nope doesn't work i'm trying the old airpods on this thing to see if I can feel any magnetic forces and yeah, you do feel it slightly, very slightly. Safety pin sticks to it. Safety pin is stuck. Now I'm trying a coin. So yeah, the coin does get stuck as well. So if you got some loose change in your pocket, you might have it stuck on your phone. It's, it's very, it depends on which side of the phone you put it on. So here it's sticking, but if you keep it here, that's about where you start seeing the magnetic pull. Yeah. Safety pin test. That seems to stick. The magnets are strong, but not super strong. We'll have to check some more accessories, but first impressions, I don't think it's strong enough to hold up the phone in a car mount, but maybe if the other side magnet is strong enough, it could work. So we're gonna go out and check out some of the photographs and video coming out of this thing. I'll do a more comprehensive review once I spend some time with it. Or maybe I'll get mom to do a review of the iPhone 12 Pro. But today is Halloween in Dubai. That's why I have this. I'm, I'm supposed to be Clark Kent. This is the best I could do with the last minute outfit. So anyway, uh, so uh, let's go see what the photographs and video out of this look like. Okay, so this is a quick selfie test with the front facing camera of the, with the iPhone 12 Pro.
all right guys we are heading home and this is like a super low light test it's like pitch dark over here so this is what it looks like in pitch dark but uh review coming soon for the iphone 12 pro so stay tuned and if you like this video hit that like button subscribe to watch more videos like this and i'll see you guys in the next one bye all right can you say bye